To make a blown glass platter, the glass collet is heated in a crucible and gathered on a hot steel pipe. The glass is shaped and colored frit is added on the marver table. At the bench, the blocks are used to shape the glass into a nice pear shape, and air is blown through the pipe slowly. To maintain the right temperature, the glass is frequently heated in the glory hole, and the pipe is continuously spun to maintain the shape of the piece against the pull of gravity. Other color is added at the marver table or in a molded block, then melted into the main piece. Wet newsprint, jacks, and shears are used to shape and crimp the piece. The jacks are also used to set the jack line where the neck of the piece will break off. A base is added and shaped. A puntal rod with a small amount of glass is attached to the bottom of the piece and the neck knocked off, allowing access to the inside. The jacks are then used to enlarge the piece, with frequent reheating in the glory hole. A bead of hot glass is spun around the outer edge to make a rim, where the edge is flashed in the glory hole to make the glass bead up and become smooth. Finally, the piece is heated again and spun up with centripetal force to flatten the glass into a platter, then allowed to droop. The joint of the puntal rod is knocked off onto an insulated box. The base is smoothed and the final piece is placed in the annealing oven to gradually cool down. That's if everything goes well. At any moment, disaster can strike, and frequently does, even to master glass blowers.